This is a young man who is not a politician. As many Ugandans are saying, Bobby Wine is not a politician. And I also agree with all the Ugandans. Bobby Wine is not a politician, but he is a true leader. And Father King of the Lord, the Bible says leaders come from God, not politicians of God. He is a man who is not fighting anybody, as we have seen in his statements, that are funding, I am not fighting you, but I'm fighting for you. Tonight we declare to all the Ugandans that we are not fighting Ugandans, but we are fighting for Ugandans. Amen. King of glory, Jehovah Jireh, five years ago when the church was slipping, the enemy began to press Uganda. We have seen bloodshed everywhere, King of Kings. But Lord, this is a time that you redeem Uganda, Lord. I know that because Christians, because your children are praying, as the Bible says, if your people who are called by your name shall humble down themselves and pray and forsake their evil ways, Lord, you promised us for his sins. You promised that you will hear us from the heavens of God. And you promise that you will forgive our sins. And you promise that you will heal the land. We pray the Lord come to 21. Shall be a time that you begin to heal this land of God. Amen. Father, as we unveil the people power, King of glory, for sure power belongs to people, not to the devil. And Lord, King of kings, we know that the devil has taken advantage of your people in Uganda. But enough is enough in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that King of glory, as Bobby Wine has risen up, like the way it was with David in the Bible, who rose up of God to accomplish what Saul had started. We still pray that King of glory, as Bobby Wine raises up to accomplish or to start from where 
our president upon the president Mishaban is ending. Lord, we pray that you shall give him the grace. Amen. Father, we also pray for our president of Uganda. We know that Lord's leadership comes from you. And we love him. And we pray that Lord come to 21. It will be a time that Uganda will register history. It will be a time that Uganda will have the transformation of power for the first time in history with the peace in the name of Jesus. We want to disagree with every plan of the enemy. We want to disagree with the plans of bloodshed anymore in Uganda. And Father, we pray for the grace. Everybody of God in Uganda, let them see what the Lord is about to do. You are the Lord who uses the despised of God. And for sure, Bobby Wine, Silver Chakula, and the Honorable, is one of the most despised people with a bad background. But Lord, Robert Chakulanya, but Lord, I know that you are also the God who uses the despised. Jesus was born in a ghetto. King David was in a ghetto. And Lord, so shall it be with Bobby Wine. Let him be the David of Uganda, come 2021. We want to bless the whole name of God. And it's because the Lord, you are the God who does what no man can do. When I spare the others, may you do it for us, O oh God. And we declare that our tomorrow shall be greater than our today. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. And this is the word to Honorable Chaplain as I live. Get closer to people who fear the Lord. Let your eyes be unto God. Between now and 2021, the Lord has chosen you. But let your eyes be unto God. Remove your eyes from people. You are not a politician. You are a leader. Get your eyes from the people. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen! Sounds like a prayer crusade, huh? <laughs> Maybe then this gets to be a message to religious leaders, whether it be in churches, in mosques, that um, should stand with the people. When the people are oppressed, when the people are in that right, you should stand with them. Can you take your seats? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, you are very welcome to this, I like to think of as a high-powered people power press conference. Thank you so much for making the time for coming to us. Folks from the media, thank you. Thank you for showing up. I, I must begin by saying that um, we were not supposed to be here today for this press conference. We should have been at one of the hotels, but um, we roamed down the past couple of days seeking to be given space by one of the hotels, and all of them declined, especially when they got to know it is people power <laughs> that would like to use the place for a press conference such as this one. And for me, I got two messages out of that. One, that people power is actually very powerful. But two, <coughs> President Museveni and President Museveni and the NRM regime are actually very scared of people power and Ugandans for that matter. And, and the reason I say that is because when they see Ugandans get together over certain causes, over certain ideals pressing and desirous for change, they get scared. And our president is now beginning to instill that fear across. And so business persons, hotels, and uh, property owners are beginning to be consumed and gripped by this fear. But I'm glad that uh, folks like yourselves and Ugandans across the country and beyond are not fearful. And slowly but surely, we want to see how we bring on board everybody, even those that have had fear instilled in them by the state, slowly but surely, they'll come on board not just for the sake of people power, but for the sake of Uganda, because that's very important. Today we are here to do a couple of things. Um, 
for a very long time, people power has kept growing by leaps and bounds the way most of you have seen it to be. But we needed to address certain key questions. We needed as people power to become very organized, to become very structured, to become a movement worth its name. People power is not a political party. People power is a movement. It's a platform that embraces all Ugandans that are interested in a better country, Ugandans that are interested in seeing a smooth transition of power. We have not seen that in this country. Every transition has been through bloodshed, and we are saying that has got to stop. So every Ugandan that wants to see that transition, every Ugandan that wants to see a Uganda that works for every Ugandan, whether you were born in the ghetto or in Kololo, whether you went to school or not, whether you speak English or not, whether you're from Northern Uganda, Western Uganda, Eastern Uganda, Central Uganda, whatever the case might be, that we create a Uganda that works for everybody. A Uganda where power is indeed wielded by the people. Our constitution, Article 1, says that power belongs to the people. And that means you and I are supposed to wield authority. We elect leaders or put them in positions of authority and we cede some power to them and they hold it in our state. What we have today is a situation where all our power was usurped and our leaders operate in a manner so wanton. You and I don't have authority even to hold them accountable. When you call them to order, they arrest you for annoying them. When you speak out, you are clamped down on heavily. And you are saying you want a better country. What a Uganda where institutions function. When we talk about power, we not only want to return power to the people, that's place number one, but number two, and equally important, we want power to return to institutions. That's one of our major focuses. We have an institutional breakdown in this good country. So as opposed to big institutions, we have a big personality who is all the authority, all the influence, and institutions have been emasculated. They have been watered down. And that's why everybody runs to this one individual. They're saying that's not the way country should run. And uh, when we take power, you notice I said when we take power, not if we take power. When we take power, we want to fix the institutions of this country. We want to make sure those institutions are independent, we want to make sure they are empowered, and they can operate and function appropriately. There's countries where sometimes they will elect a ridiculous leader, but because their institutions are strong and functional, there's not too much of a worry. Why? The institutions work. The institutions call that leader to order, hold them accountable. But in our case, that's not going to happen. It's not happening. Why? Because an individual is bigger than institutions. And as people power, we are saying power should return to the people, power should return to institutions, institutions should function. And then we can begin to hold our leaders accountable. And, and, and that's how people power goes to begin, and that's how far we have come to keep growing. Along the way, we realized we needed to fix a couple of things, leadership-wise. And uh, that's what we are majorly here for today. We want to show the country that we are a very organized group, that we have capacity to run a country. And so today we are here to make a statement to all and sundry, to Ugandans here and Ugandans in the diaspora, to the international community, that people power, contrary to what especially our current and outgoing president, uh, Yori Kabuta Museveni. Oh yes, I said that. President Museveni is our current and outgoing president. He has out of fear for people power and um, out of the realization that uh, we are coming and going to replace him in 2021, decided to brand us all manner of things. I was just chatting with some people and I said, look, if, um, and then you'll forgive me for using this analogy, hopefully it will communicate. If I, an honorable Tinka Sivire, are interested in a lady. And honorable Tinka Sivire is, let's say, the boyfriend of that lady. But you will say you need wants to take over. What you will say you will do in that case is to mudsling honorable Tinka Sivire 
in the eyes of that lady who say this Jinka Simile, he is a thief, he is a hooligan, he is violent, he doesn't have worker. Even when the man has his worker. And, and there goes the battle with Uganda that uh, President Museveni is uh, an estranged lover because Uganda are saying, we, we have had enough of you. And so he will mud sling people power whom Ugandans are beginning to see to have waka, as we like to call it. And, and so they call us all manner of names, violent, they are disorganized and all of that. And we are saying as people power, we are not a violent people. We are peaceful Ugandans who are going to take power peacefully. <laughs> President Museveni took power by shedding blood. And I can say this without a fear of contradiction, that President Museveni killed people to take power. Oh yes, because he, together with his other colleagues, picked up guns, they went to the bush. They were not shooting at elephants, they were shooting at human beings. And so he shed blood to take power. And as people power, we are saying, we need to stop that vicious cycle, that every time there gets to be a transition, blood is shed. We cannot continue like this. And so we are saying we want to take power peacefully with the involvement of every Ugandan and that after we have taken power, Ugandans hold us accountable. You see, Ugandans have love for people power and this is the message to all our people power lovers and leaders you know, whom we are going to declare today. If you veer rough track, Ugandans will hate you in as equal measure as they love you today. And that's a fact. And I say that as a spokesperson of people power. Ugandans have come to love people power. But as people power, if we veer off track, they will hate us in as equal measure. So we cannot let them down. We cannot let Ugandans down. We cannot go off track. And so today, we are going to let the world know who our leaders are. We decided that as we structure, we break the country down in two regions, a couple of them as we are going to let you know. These regions are each going to have a team of coordinators, what we are calling regional coordinators. And each of those teams will have a leader. I'll give an example of, let's say, West Nile as one of the regions, as we are going to let you know. So West Nile will have a team of regional coordinators, but among them there will be a team leader for that group. Now, the regional coordinators across the country and for the different facets, as we are going to tell you, will be accountable. Because this is important. We want a leadership that is accountable, unlike what we have in our country today. So, the coordinators will be accountable to a leadership council. This leadership council will be headed by General Robert Kagulani. And it will be comprised of, among others, team leaders from each of the regions. So West Nile will have its team of coordinators, but among them a leader. Unyoro will have coordinators, among them a leader. So each of these leaders will sit on this leadership council, together with a couple of other leaders. And uh, that leadership council that uh, Honorable Chagulani will be leading. And so the coordinators will be accountable to that leadership Council. Very important because we want accountable leadership. And the leadership council is also not supremo in the sense that it is not accountable. We have a couple of elders and uh, we have what we call advisory council. It's comprised of some elders but also some eminent Ugandans, uh, not necessarily elderly, but people that we think can help us to keep on track, can always guide us, uh, pick us up when we drop the ball, show us when and how to do what. They are experienced people, and we believe they can offer guidance. So that's as it is. So we have the regional coordinators, we have the leadership council above them, and we have an advisory council that gives guidance to the leadership council. Below the regional coordinators, we shall have district coordinators. And uh, that's part of the work that the regional coordinators are going to be spearheading. So every region will have a couple of districts. So under the regional coordinators, we shall have district coordinators who will be accountable to the regional coordinators and the regional coordinators accountable to the leadership council. 
and of course the leadership council guided by a group of eminent Ugandans. And we shall want to go down all the way, below the district coordinators, we shall go down to parish coordinators, and we shall go all the way to village coordinators. We want to build a strong team. We want to become a juggernaut. So for those that have uh, made several planes, people power is all over the place but nowhere. Today we tell you that people power is everywhere and indeed everywhere in a strong way. I am going to, in a very short while, uh, let us know who these coordinators are, but I'm going to invite my colleague, uh, Flavia Kalule. Flavia, by the way, even as she comes, um, it's good to take note of this. She has spearheaded um, today's occasion, the team that has been putting everything together, trying to make sure every T is crossed and every I is dotted, and so we are heavily indebted to Flavia. Let's welcome Flavia. She is All right, so Flavia is going to take us through the roles and responsibilities of, of these coordinators because we don't want to let them out there without a clear understanding of what exactly it is that they are supposed to do. It seems obvious, but um, it's all right to, to offer that so that they know exactly what they will be going out to do and uh, so that we can be able to hold them accountable. And even as we are saying that uh, the regional coordinators will be held accountable by the leadership council, Ultimately, and most importantly, all of us are to be held accountable by Ugandans. We want an accountable leadership. We want leaders who are accountable. Not just to ourselves and the structure that we are talking about, but to Ugandans. Because Ugandans have entrusted us. Ugandans are saying, look, we, we are looking at you as a new beacon of hope. And so we just cannot let them down. And so that's very important, that ultimately, ultimately, the supreme authority, the supreme structure, if you like, gets to be Ugandan people. And, and it's important that leaders get to know that, that Ugandans are the supreme. As far as they come to take us through that, I will say, and uh, our principal will add to this uh, when we invite him at some point. There's been a lot of talk on uh, several streets social media and otherwise, who is people power going to back, people power is going to be a running mate for I don't know who. People power <coughs> is going to take power in 2021. And we have our incoming president, he's here with us. Um, So that's to comfort uh, many folks out there that have been uh, saying very many things, have been getting all manner of phone calls. So we hear Honorable Chagulani is going to back the other one, you know, some people have said he's going to back the other, and they said, but wait a minute, Honorable Chagulani can speak, he's got a mouth, uh, people power has got a spokesperson. We can speak for ourselves, so let nobody speak for us. And we are saying people power is going to take power in 2021, and our incoming president is here, will be introducing him to everybody here. But let me just invite Flavia to take us through quickly the roles and responsibilities that the coordinators will be charged with. Thank you very much, Joel. Um, thank you all for coming here to be with us. Today we will be unveiling our different regional coordinators and as we unveil them, there are certain guidelines we hope that they'll be able to abide by and we expect that they should abide by because as people of power, we believe in accountability and so this is one of the accountability tools uh, we shall use to see whether our teams are ready on ground and working. The very first one is to propagate the people of power ideology, mission and values. Uh, to propagate, we hope that uh, all of us here are here because we believe in people power. 
and we liked it, we loved it, and that's why we came here. So no one coerced us into joining this social movement. So we also hope that our coordinators will allow the message of people power, its ideology, values, and mission to sit deep within people's hearts. So this is what we mean by propagating, that they will spread this message and hopefully, and I know that it will catch up like a fire. Uh, we hope that uh, these people are going to establish district structures uh, in all the regions and they will be able to recruit the district coordinators for those different structures. They will coordinate the district coordinators' work. So they will oversee all their work. We hope that they will utilize their skills and talents well <coughs> and provide motivation. Any person doesn't want to work under a leader that is not inspirational, that doesn't inspire people to become the better versions of themselves or to work for what they really want and believe in. So we hope that these teams that we shall unveil today will be able to provide motivation to anyone who we want to be a part of <coughs> the social movement. Uh, we hope we want this team to keep proper records of our regional structures. Uh, all factors constant. We hope that we will not be able to get uh, issues around our records, uh, as has been happening with some NGOs that they've been breaking in and all that. So this people will be keeping our records and to coordinate all our regional events. Obviously, it goes without saying that they should be exemplary. For example. They should lead by action. They shouldn't wait to be told what to do. And uh, we hope that they will have the ability to operate incognito, be aware of the operational context. All of us here are here because we know that we work in an abnormal situation. The status quo has been disrupted by people power a lot, and this cares so many people. So our regional coordinators should be able to know this context, even in their various regions and should devise ways of working, you doing the proper work in this difficult and complicated context, political context. Um, we hope that these people will interface with sub-regional coordinators regularly, and these sub-regional are the district coordinators to track their progress, mitigate challenges as they arise, assure regional logistics, readiness, quality, and delivery. Determine key regional resources to aid operations and enhancements. Build and strengthen networks within the region. We are all here today because of a very powerful network. So we hope that this will be strengthened further by our coordinators. And to handle questions and tasks on internal processes and systems within their regions. Act professionally and fairly. We are here, we come from different political affiliations, different religious backgrounds, different uh, tribal backgrounds and all. But what unites us is the love to see Uganda um, moving to a higher country, a higher level, to be liberated in all our angles. So we hope that even our, our coordinators will not look at the political party issue as an issue, but they will be willing and open to coexist with other, with other political parties and other people with different beliefs and affiliations. And um, work closely with our country coordinator, those are the team leaders for the different teams, to identify, recruit, and manage the volunteers that may want to join us, especially when we get into the campaign activities. And finally, they will be tasked, this team is tasked to the high, high role of recruiting identifying and harmonizing candidates during the electoral period for people power. So this will be given with guidance, a lot of guidance from the council of leaders, those that comprising the different team leaders and other people, and our council advisors. Not to forget that this job of the regional coordinators requires strong interpersonal skills. We want to work with people. We are not fighting people, we are fighting for them. So our leaders should be able to work with people, no matter what. Should have patience to put up, this wasn't easy, because of the difficult operational context, even the banners, people fear to print banners for us. But 
we need to have patience, courage, persistence, enthusiasm, good communication skills, and the ability to work with all kinds of people so that we see that our country moves as one <coughs> under the, social, the people power social movement. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, Flavia. People Power has got very powerful ladies, actually. I know that uh, it's okay to clap. <laughs> yeah, so there's people that at some point kept saying, but People Power, we only see ninja as well. We, <laughs> we have ninja races as well, and uh, Flavia is one of them, and you're going to see a couple of others. Along with this, even as I get to the point of uh, beginning to invite through our regional coordinators, two things that are very important. Um, People Power, like I said, at the start is not a political party, it's a movement that um, has embraced every Ugandan that is interested in seeing a smooth transition, that is interested in seeing a better country, a country with institutions that work, a country with an accountable leadership. And, and so we have embraced people from all shades of life. Uh, we have Balokole here, like myself, we have got Hajis, we have got Seventh-day Adventists, uh, we don't have which doctors. <laughs> Not that I know. We do. <laughs> Not that I know about. What you come the far? We have people from all manner of divides politically. Um, we have got NRM leaders who are part of people power, and uh, some are seated right here at. And then they are standing. Maybe let's let's say guys want NRM leaders to stand in this place. There you are. Those are leaders within the NRM, members of parliament, a good number of them and others. They belong to the NRM, they are card holding members of the NRM. They are in parliament on the NRM ticket. But they are saying we want a better country. We want a country that works for every Uganda. We want to see a smooth transition from President Museveni to another leader. And they are saying people power is availing that platform and they are here with us. We have got members from uh, the Democratic Party. Uh, let me invite members from the DP to stand, if you can. There you are. Members from the Democratic Party who are saying, um, yes, we have a political party, but uh, there's people power, a movement which has provided a platform for us all to come together and transform this country, and we salute you. We have members from the Forum for Democratic Change. Uh, kindly stand, members from the FDC. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our good friends from the FDC. We do salute you. Uh, they are also saying they belong to a political party, but uh, they have seen a platform which is bringing together all the different forces so that we can see change. We have members from JEMA, uh, led by their very able president. Alhaji Asman Kasariwa. <laughs> we Alhaji is interesting. He's always teasing me about how you know he's a lucky man to have uh, several wives. Yesterday I was telling them about a man I met who has two wives, so I asked him, so what is your problem? Why, why do you have two wives? And he said, well, you see, when you have one wife, she fights with you. When you have two wives, they fight for you. And, and for some reason, he's happy about that. But uh, one of the other things that's people power that we are very deliberate about is empowering women. And you're going to see the women are going to call on board. We have a team of women, the Women Wing. And we are saying they should be empowered a lot more. President Museveni has said he has empowered the women over the years. But truth be told, he has disempowered them in many ways. And we are saying that has got to change. Uh, but as men, we should not step on the heads of women. And I want to believe no people power supporter does that. If you do, you are expelled for the right. <laughs> Anyhow, so we have people from across the divides. Who did I leave out? We have got independents. Uh, people that are saying, well, I don't have a political party that I belong. Oh, UPC. Okay. We have got ANT, uh, the newest political party on the block. Our power. People power. People power. Our power. We, we are very happy to have you good people of the Alliance for National Transformation to be a part of us. 
we have brought independence, as I was saying. Ah, there you are. Our power. Um, I don't know which Aplanya, I don't know why you did stand up, that's a check, you are independent. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you had forgotten how we have divided. <laughs> 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 Even myself, I'm an independent member of <laughs> <laughs> So, there you are. Uh, <laughs> across board, who did I hear here and I did not mention where you're from? UPC, UPC. Aha, uh -huh. we have our friends from UPC. We totally appreciate you. They are everywhere, including people power. A young UPC is also here, a young one. That's supposed to be good team. All right, so the point I was making is that, um, as you can see, we are saying as people power, we are providing a platform that is embracing every individual, every Ugandan, regardless of where they belong politically or otherwise. But they want to see transformation in this country. They want to see a better country. And uh, we are glad they could join us. Without further ado, I'm going to get to inviting our regional coordinators. Um, I will invite them to come. Quickly, just to not say anything, but uh, to come. And uh, we shall invite um, Uganda's 10th president to come and take a picture with them, the Honorable Robert Chabulanyi Setamu. Um, I think I'll keep him here for a while, such that as the different team, teams come, take a picture, go and sit, we'll do this as quickly as we possibly can. Hopefully that is fine. I don't know whether I will need to move this. We are going to begin with West Nile as one of the regions. Um, it has got a couple of districts. West Nile has this team. It is led by the very able, honorable Cassiano Wadri as their team leader. Please kindly come and please. We have the honorable Achidri James. Powerful man from the NRM, that one. The honorable Oguzuli. I don't know if he has traveled uh, and made it in good time. We have Mr. Habib Asega. Jogo, as they like to call him. We have Miss Maneno Avako. Uh, she had not made it here by the time we started. I don't know if she has eventually. But uh, we'll keep moving with the ones that are here. Your Excellency, I'm going to invite you to just come and take a picture with these, uh, with these generals. Acholi, Acholi, that team is led by the Honorable Lucy Akilo as team leader. She had an engagement in Parliament and said she would come a little late. Uh, but it's okay, we'll keep moving with the rest of the team leaders. The Honorable Gilbert Olanya. Our power. Our power. Our power. Our power. A powerful man from uh, Kilak County. These are the people fighting for the rights of the people in Abba, whose land has been dropped. Uh, we have Mr. Olenga Anthony and uh, Mr. Okipa Santos. 
If you're not here yet, we'll just keep moving with those who are here, but at least the records have been captured. People's power! Our power! People's power! Our power! Our power! Okay, thank you. We're going to Karamoja. Karamoja, the team from Karamoja is led by the Honorable Adome Bildad as team leader. He was uh, also taking care of some parliamentary business. I like that these, uh, these are MPs actually work. Eh? Many times when I call them, I'm finishing something in Parliament and I'm happy because they are earning their money, they are working for it. <laughs> so Honorable Adobe Builder, the time we spoke, he had not made it here yet, but will keep moving. He will join us along the way. He's the leader of that team. Uh, we have Mr. Ayen Ernest. Mr. Lopolo Mukulu. And Mr. Ponyu Badru. The others are probably still on the way. We'll make do with whoever is here. Can you make him appear shorter than me? <laughs> All right, thank you. Representatives from uh, Karamoja, uh, Karamoja region. Lango, uh, Lango region. And uh, that team is led by the able, honorable Jonathan Odur as team leader. Uh, he had not come by the time we started. I don't know if he is now. Honorable Jonathan Odur. We also have with us uh, Mr. Moses Okot Bitek. Uh, Moses was shot at by regime security. Why? Because he belongs to people power. He's nursing injuries. He actually left hospital yesterday. Uh, the last we talked to him. But um, he's a powerful man from, from that region. And uh, we continue to encourage all of us to keep standing with comrades that find themselves in situations such as this. Uh, so Moses is obviously not here with us. Mr. Okelo Blick and uh, Mr. Isaac Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Okelo Blick, Isaac Okay. Okay, you said? Okay, we'll keep moving. Uh, for lack of time, when they come, we'll uh, probably take care of that. Teso. This region is led by a lady, a powerful one. Uh, the Honorable Susan Amero is the team leader uh, of the team from Teso. We have another powerful lady in that team, the Honorable Angeline Osege. We also have the Honorable Herbert Arupo as part of that team. Then we have Mr. Ojangone Anthony and uh, Mr. George Opoint. Those here, let's kindly run and take care of this quickly. Number of the MPs, like I said, uh, they had to rush sort out committee work, but uh, they should be joining us along the way. Let's move to Toro. Toro is led by Mr. Innocent Tukundane. People power! Our power! People power! Our power. People power. A young man, but uh, very able and dependable. That team also has Mr. Kakuru Thomas. It has uh, Ms. Hanifa Said. And uh, Miss Nyakato Hassan. People power. Our power. Our power. <laughs> All right, we will move to Ankole. Ankole is led by the Honorable Mbwate Kamwakafa. He's the leader of that team. Uh, from Ankole, we also have Mr. Kakama Moses. We have Mr. Lucas Muhanji. 
We have Mr. Muhanguzi Katera and Mr. Navas Arona. If you're here, kindly come quickly so that we take the pictures soon enough. People power. People power. People power. Our power. People power. People power. People power. People power. Okay, thank you. Remember has that interesting history about how he got that name, but at some other time, I guess, he tell us how he became Mumbua. From Chigezi, from Chigezi we have uh, Mr. Ayevare Jasper, we have uh, Mr. Musherura Daniel, we have Mr. Tumuhi Mr. Roda, Mr. Biamuka Magotre, and Mr. Sevili Emmanuel. I hope I pronounced that name right. Finally, Mr. President, you have someone who's shorter than you. People power! Our power! Our power! People power! We got to our show. Hey, go say, go say, go say. People power. People power. Our Twavachira, Twavachira. Zebei. Zebei, that team is led by Asta. So some of you who thought that uh, the four power guys, they, I don't know, <laughs> not love the road, you're in trouble. Eh? Asta Santi Matthew uh, is leading the team from Zebei. That's the man who led us in prayer, by the way. Please come very quickly as we read the names. We want to try and hasten this process. We don't have much time. Mr. Chemong is Benjamin Koyen. Mr. Chemiso Kubai. All right. Okay, we'll keep moving. We are going to Bunyoro now. That team from Bunyoro is led by the Honorable Barnabas Tinka Sinire. We have Mr. Amanire Rogers and we have Asimwe Grace. Let's try and be as quick as we possibly can. Bugisu, I'm coming to you, so get set. If you can get out of the seat so that you move quicker. Bugisu, you're coming up next. People power, our power, when you're all yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's run quickly. You people climb mountains, so you'll run here quickly. That team is led by the Honorable John Baptist Nabeshe. Mr. Sam Mali and Miss Robin Anadunga. Our 
rises, she rises, she rises, she rises, we are going to our friends from Busoga, uh, that team. We'll, we'll do much of the pleasantries after, so let's try and uh, redeem them. Let's go to Busoga. That team is led by the Honorable Asman Basaliwa, a team leader. <laughs> Mr. Bam Rulenzi. Ms. Masi Walukamba. Ms. Vijira Moses. And Mr. Basaka Nahani. <laughs> People power. Our power. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. Our power. People power. Our power. People power. People power. People power. Okay, we are going to Bukedi. Thank you, the team from Busoga. Robert always likes to tell me, but after that, she says, I think I said, we are going to Bukedi. Bukedi, the team is led by the Honorable Nabulino Agnes as team leader. Uh, Mr. Sanya Wigliffe, Mr. Mukasa Abdallah, let's run quickly. Mr. Yusuf Mutembule, Mr. Mokutu David, that's the team from Bukedi. Rezori, I'm coming to you, so let's uh, be on standby. Bukedi, Honorable Nabulino Agnes, Sanya Wigliffe, Mukasa Abdallah, Yusuf Mutembule, Mr. Mokutu David. Rezori, be on standby, we're coming to you. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. Our power. People power. Our power. Our power. Our power. Our power. Our power. Okay, just for mention, Bunyoro team, I uh, had not mentioned Mr. Livingstone, uh, Ziwe, but he's part of the team. Rezori, that team is led by the Honorable Winnie Kiza. She's the leader of that team. I don't know if she has arrived yet. Uh, in the morning, she said she was also taking care of some parliament business, then she runs here. Uh, the Honorable Robert Centenary. I don't know if he has arrived as well. Uh, Mr. Wakivanaki Joram and Mr. Ndungu James. Whoever is here will take the picture. People power! power! The preamble of our constitution yeah. is saying you don't shed blood. We transfer power. Peace free, peace free and freely. Yeah. People power! Yeah. Yeah. Alright, as they take the picture, can you tell us? The man came to talk, not take a picture, so he knew what he wanted. Come for a metropolitan, you're coming. One man is equal to 100 men. All right. Did you see? Did you take note of the pose? We used to call those straight talk poses. All the flowers and so on. We are going to Kampala Metropolitan. Um, this being the capital and it's a bit expensive. Uh, we have a couple of people. Uh, that team is led by the Honorable Medad Segona. Among that team, we also have the Honorable Latif Sebakala. We have the Honorable Wakai Mamusoke. Miss Naluima Betty. Miss Nasemugoma Hamdan. Mr. Kenneth Paul Kakande. Mr. Patrick Mujuko, Mr. Steve Fred, Mr. Abdallah Chuanuka, Miss Lydia Namayeko.
Батюшков, блядь. That is going to be We are going to a region we are calling Mavira Stretch. Mavira Stretch has Buyukwe, it has Kayunga, Buvuma. That team is led by the Honorable Lulu Mebaiga. We have Miss Nandesa Resti in that team. Miss Nandesa Resti, Mr. Arthur Mugabe in that team. Stage name, Mubashi is also an upcoming artist. Greater Massacre. Greater Massacre, that team is led by the Honorable Matthias Buga. The Honorable Koza Gaseungu is part of that team. Honorable Florence Namayanja. Mr. John Mary Sebufu. Mr. Charles Chirumira. Mr. Katerega Muhammad. business you join us along the way but we shall keep moving the youth wing <laughs> people power recognizes that uh, uganda's population is largely made up of uh, the youth and we cannot leave them behind that youth team is led by the very able honorable francis Zakebo tv that team also has miss angela namirembe that team has Mr. Bosnico team. Rastaman. Mr. Sassi Marvin. And Miss Maria Natavi. That's the youth team. Institutions, the team of institutions is coming up. Next, uh, please begin to pull out. And by the way, this team, it is uh, heavily represented across. Uh, it has somebody from the north, it has somebody from the east, somebody from the west and central, so that we take care of all the regions. Since we have youth across the board. Because we got in the region of experience. People power! Our power! Our power! People power! People power! Our power! Our power! power. Alright, institutions. Now, uh, we have a plethora of institutions in our country, uh, each of them with a guild president, and uh, people power swept majority of the guild presidential suite, seats, rather. I was about to say pres presidential suite, you know, where presidents sit these ones. But, um, so out of those, we picked out coordinators, um, to, to streamline this, but um, so I'll, I'll invite those that um, are going to be spearheading this. Since there are many presidents you know, among the institutions, we will not pick all of them, but uh, all of them really will be helping to coordinate. That team of institutions is led by Mr. Roy Semboka. 
Atman, by the way, is from Kawebe Republic, so he told me that he's here on international duty <laughs> in a foreign country. He came with his passport. We have Mr. Muhumu Zahumaru. Mr. Muhumu Zahumaru is a guild president of Mara University. Miss Milk Anabachua, guild president Neje. Mr. Tunduru Jonathan, guild president of Chambogo. We used to call it Chambridge. And uh, then Mr. Bakulu Mpaji. Can we come quickly? <coughs> After that, I'll be going to the women wing. So the ladies, uh, let's uh, the, the women coordinators, let's pull out of our seats so that we come here quickly. Okay, this man here is uh, Mr. Katerega Julius. He's the guild president of Makerere University. He's uh, also my president since I studied at Makerere. This guy is my president. Can you imagine? Uh, I don't know whether we saw Mr. Sendio or Frank. Mr. Chibira, we just take note of you wherever you are. If you could stand and wave, Mr. Rogolovi. Richard, these are the, the next ones. Um, Mr. Otafire Henry, Riazi Alex, Ruswata Byron, Bia Kutanga Za Ezra, Mboga, Mboga Patrick, Lawel, Bazira John, Tumusime Edwin, Gilbert Karunji Joe. We are just taking note of uh, these youth leaders. They are doing incredible things wherever it is that they are. All right, just take that please. All right, we are going to the team of the women. The team of women is uh, led by uh, the very Ebo Flavia Karule. She is a Cassandra woman MP in waiting. They have delayed her to take that position because they fear. Honorable Robina Sentongo, powerful lady from Chotira. Miss Nusfa Nakato. Miss Aturinda Agnes. Miss Sam Cheyune. Miss Dam Cheyune, are you here? Aturinda Agnes T. Jeshu. Yashia Bats. Um, as people power, we realize that uh, there's uh, folks within a society that are many times left out and ignored. And we are saying we're not going to ignore them. So the team of persons with disabilities, that team is led by a pastor. Uh, pastor Robert Mpala Isabide is the leader of that team. We have uh, among them also Mr. John Bosco Lukwago. Mr. Bazalachi Musa. People power. Oh, power. 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 People power. power. Somebody help to bring him beside kindly. Mr. Mukisa Nambiro Socrates. Okay, they are still coming. Give them a break. Good time. 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 Good time.
Who is that person with the race? We cannot have our team leader not sitting here. Room. People power. 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 From that team, we also have uh, Mr. Hussein Muyonjo, aka Swengere, Mr. Ronald Mayinja, Ms. Flavia Namurindwa. But um, these are part of a society, they do incredible stuff. They don't wear suits and neckties uh, like honorable. They don't have to guess, guess. <laughs> But uh, they do incredible things. That team is led by Mr. Nyanzi Fred Sentamu. Also known as Chairman Nyanzi. That man, you only see him wearing suits and all, but uh, he's a real Jew guy, that man. That team also has Miss, Miss Nachi Indu Justin, Mr. Okelo Richard, Mr. Andy Chivilike, Mr. Mwanguzi Andrew, Nachi Indu Justin. Hey, Chairman, you are wearing shades like a celeb. Okay, Pastor Mwanguzi, that man is also a pastor. Hey. Some seven, you should be afraid. We have men of God, part of this thing. They will send fire from heaven to you. People power. power. Hallelujah. Amen. People power. Our power. Our power. Our power. People power. Everywhere. People, People power. power. Uganda. People power. Even here. People power. <laughs> okay, this man I think used to belong to UBC or thereabouts. Chairman <laughs> Yanzi has told you that uh, we are everywhere. And that's for sure. Um, so we have a diaspora team because there are Ugandans here, but there are Ugandans out of the country across the world, and uh, they are doing incredible work, doing coordination for people power. And so we have a team. There are many of them, but uh, 
who are able to get coordinators from among them, uh, they are not here. One of them should have come, I believe, uh, but uh, majority are not here, but I'll read their names nonetheless. Miss Arau Ameni, she is uh, from the US and she's the leader of that team. Miss Belinda Atif, she's from the UK, she lives in the UK. Patricia Mugisha, she's in the United Arab Emirates, Emirates uh, slash Dubai. Mr. Sombi Ibrahim is in South Africa. Mr. Victor Jadribo from Sweden. Mr. Karim Ntambi from the US. Captain David Sejinja, US and Canada. Namata Serumaga, Miss Namata Serumaga. She lives in Ghana. And last but certainly not least, Morris, Mr. Morris Sabiti is also from Ghana. Morris actually came, he's in the country, I don't know if he has arrived here yet. When you see somebody looking like a Musama, that is Morris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he should be joining us, uh, but he's in the Kikem. All right, um, Mr. President, I will allow you to take a seat. So, I didn't know I'm actually powerful. I can hear the president stand, stand up, then I allow him to see. I can even call him back here. You have tempted to do a postcode. But if it was the other friend of ours, you'd be committing an offense, annoying the fashion of the president. <laughs> the team that we have unveiled today is, uh, like we said at the start, um, our regional coordinators. They will have, they will be accountable to the leadership council, like I said. That leadership council is comprised of each of the team leaders. You heard as I kept reading the names, each of the regions had a team leader. So that team leader, each of those team leaders will be sitting on the leadership council together with uh, a couple of uh, other leaders. A leader who, who is a spokesperson is also on that uh, leadership council. But uh, that leadership council is led by the Honorable Robert Chabulani, and so the coordinators will be accountable to that team. Um, below the regional coordinators, like we said, we will have district coordinators, and along the way, each of the regions will be letting the country know the district coordinators below them and we shall move to parish coordinators and up to village coordinators. We are making sure that gets to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we want to wrap this up, uh, but we are going to do so this way. Allow me to invite a man who in 2021, but before I do that, allow me to just say this. <laughs> I will keep you waiting for the man himself. Now, let me just say this. Um, you see, leadership is not just about titles. I know it's Napoleon who said, if you want people to work, give them titles. And that is important, yeah? But you know that there's many incredible leaders who might not necessarily have received the title coordinator for this or for the other, but they are leaders in their right. And uh, we want to encourage them to keep doing work. Work alongside the coordinators, but uh, keep doing the work that you have been doing. You know, because people power has encouraged people to thrive as leaders and they have been doing incredible work wherever it is that they are. And uh, we salute them. So we don't want you to get discouraged. You've not been given a title. Please keep doing work. Keep mobilizing for people power. Um, and for Uganda, ultimately, wherever it is that you are. Let's keep doing that. It's only that. You can only have a few to do the coordination, but you work alongside them because you are leaders in your own right. So we wanted to make sure that goes out there such that Many of oh, you are very powerful, and you might say, but I'm not being given a title, that's all right. Uh, you are a leader in your own right. Keep doing work on the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. Due to public demand, um, so there's a team we unveiled here of uh, arts and entertainment, and they're saying they want to show you, they want to begin their work now. 
they want to show you that they have work. So I'm going to invite uh, Mr. Nubian Lee to come and first sample you. I don't know who he's coming with, but uh, yeah. Mr. Ali Buken, a Canubian Lee. Do you want backup singers, dancers? I see both people team making his way or something. Let's try and make this as big as we possibly can. Who is hiding Nubian Lee? Nubian Lee makes his way, there is a curtain razor in Bosby Kotif. He will do something in two minutes.
<laughs> okay, we are trying to make way for a gentleman called Nubian Lee. It's a gentleman called Perfume. That man sang an interesting song. Um, I'm sure along the way we shall hear that song. Hey. Interesting. All right, are we good for Nubian Lee? We try and make this very quickly such that we can hear the presidential address and we wrap it up. My name is Matthias Walukaga, he's part of the arts and entertainment team. Okay, I understand the guitar cable is not too long enough to reach this side. So Mr. Nubian Lee is going to perform from somewhere there, if you can get a glimpse of him. As he does the piece in uh, two or so minutes. Can I have the next microphone? Can we have the microphone? Can somebody take the microphone? I'll be wine. I want to introduce my president. Before I was a leader, I was an artist. And I'm sure the comrades here can allow me a few minutes of being an artist. Oh, hello. Uganda, 
We are the leaders of the future, and the future is today. If we only come together, we can change our destiny. Oh, be my coach, you pull your chin up, I wait to lead. See, we pull in our opportunity to remind us of our past, present, and future. Because it was 9th of October 1962 when this beautiful nation was born. Yes, indeed, beautiful and endowed with the promise of democracy. With unity in diversity, different people, different religions, different tribes. My brother is a Nubian from Arua, I'm a Muganda from Kampala. He's a Muslim and a, I'm, a, I'm a Catholic and very many differences among us as a people. But all of them are coming together to create a nation that will make life better for the future generation. The majority of us here are that generation. We are the grandchildren of the independence generation. And yes, indeed, we are the grandparents of the future generations. So we must, within ourselves, find solutions since our leaders don't care about the next generation, all they care about is the next general election. Oh, my, 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 
interest of time and the interest of our friends that are covering especially in the live stream and yes we're noting that many comrades have so much to do especially those that have been assigned responsibilities which responsibilities begin with immediate effect I tried to restrain myself from being so elaborative and uh, Rare are times where, when I jot down my communication, but this time I decided to write down my speech and communicate it to you so that I restrict myself to those areas that I strictly want to communicate. So fellow countrymen and women, ladies and gentlemen, I recognize you all in your respective capacities and I greet you all in the name of the Almighty God who has given us a gift of life despite the numerous challenges that we go through in our country. I also appreciate you, all of you, the people of Uganda, for the labors and sacrifices, for your hard work and resilience in all the corners of our country, Uganda. Despite the high taxes, the unfair economic policies, and the massive corruption, you have continued to work hard day and night to build yourselves your communities, and ultimately to build our lovely country, Uganda. Let me also take this opportunity to appreciate the nation for the massive reception of our message of people power for the past two years. I want to thank you all, dear compatriots in all parts of our country, for the positive reception you have given our message from the time we set out. There are very few times in the political history of the world where movements like our own people power movement gain momentum in such a short time. You will agree with me that wherever you go in our country, whether rural or urban, the message of people power has reached there and is very well appreciated by the people. You will find those who are educated, the uneducated, the big, the small, the young and the old agreeing that indeed people power is our power and yes they agree that 
giving back power to the people and having the leaders accountable and governing in the interest of the people is a way forward for our country, Uganda. I will tell you that if you go to the north or the east, the central or any part of the country, you will find houses filled with the message of people power. And that is something that we need to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. I was talking about it yesterday that personally I did not present myself because I have so much expertise in politics. I did not present myself because I'm the most educated or the most qualified. I did not present myself because I'm an army general or a professor. I presented myself as one of those Ugandans that want a better country and need to deserve a better country. And yes, comrades, you all know that we do not set out as experts or even experienced politicians. No. We set out as ordinary citizens, driven by the love, the deep love of our country. We set out as men and women, not motivated by material gain or popularity, by deep facts, by deep conviction that our country deserves and indeed must achieve better. We set out to tell the nation that people power is stronger than the people in power. And even when the people, of, in, the people in power are determined to bring out gun power, and yes, we set out to make it clear that we are determined not just to be spectators, but to actively get involved in the way our country is governed, to actively take part in the shaping to actively take part in the shaping of our destiny, the destiny of our children, and the destiny of the children of our children. Even though we know that the regime in Uganda rolled out with massive intimidation and massive violence, I am glad that we still have the confidence to come together today and speak exactly what we set out to speak. I congratulate all of us, ladies and gentlemen, and I pray to God that we keep guided and keep encouraged by the Almighty. Uh, countrymen and women, you received the message and made it your own. The message of people power. You owned it and interpreted it in your own languages. From the border border stages, to the saloons, to the birombe, to the markets, to the schools, to the churches, mosques, and hospitals. The people power message has permeated our country in ways we cannot imagine. I must say we, did, we all did not expect the massive embracement, the massive reception of the people power message. But again, we are not surprised because we know our people feel exactly what we feel. And yes, the majority of them feel it even worse. Well, on the onset, some people were skeptical. They thought it was just excitement. They thought this idea would vanish in thin air. But you, the people of Uganda, dismissed those who were skeptical. Those who tried to dismiss us. President Museveni and his praise singers dismissed us as inconsequential but the people of Uganda have and continue to prove them wrong and so comrades when the opportunity availed itself in Jinja in Rukunjiri, in Wujiri and in Arua, the people spoke in ways that neither bullets nor money can silence President Museveni and his pin masters were utterly exposed and indeed naked. Neither bribes nor bullets could silence the people yearning for change. They spoke resoundingly and told President Museveni in bold letters that, they are, that his time is out. It was not surprising, therefore, that the leopard that President Museveni says he is when surrounded with, with great danger President Museveni resorted to extreme levels of violence by which he clearly intended to wipe all of us. I repeat it, he clearly intended to wipe all of us off the face of the earth. It was under this context that Yasin Kauma and many other people were killed. 
I'm as such that Yasin Kaoma took a bullet for me because if he did not give that sacrifice, I would not be standing before you to give this speech. I want at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, to give respect with just a few seconds of silence to the late Yasin Kaoma and many other comrades that have sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. May the souls rest in eternal peace. And may that God that allowed us to see this day and indeed to get the confidence and hope to see other days keep guiding us and keep resting our confidence in eternal peace. I was talking about, I was still talking about the leopard filled with embarrassment and fear and unable to contain the crusading change, the regime decided to illegally stop all the by-elections in the country. And that explains why our sister from Kassanda has not gone to the polls yet. Because he's many and his henchmen are scared for the bond. They decided to murder, maim, and arrest countless people power supporters countrywide. But the people have pressed on. I want to salute the countless young women and men who, despite the regime criminalizing the red beret, have continued to wear it boldly and confidently, pushing back against intimidation. Go on, guys, don't give up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And so, ladies and gentlemen, because they're afraid of the influence of the message of redemption, the regime blocked all our music shows. It made it illegal for us to even attend church services across the country. The reason why we gather here today at my home in Magere and not anywhere in the very many hotels in Kampala is because each of the hotels that we booked was ordered not to host us. Even when we booked and paid, they were told that they could not host us. And if they were stubborn enough to host us, they would face consequences. Comrades, this is supposed to make us sad, right? Well, I think it is supposed to make us both sad and happy. It's supposed to make us sad because the moral fiber of our nation has been killed, how can we explain to our children that a hotel in a country can be stopped from hosting an event of a political opponent of a dictator? General Museveni can go around the country campaigning, dishing out huge stashes of money, taxpayers' money in bribes, hiring people to attend his rallies, and yet we cannot even be allowed to assemble in a private hotel and this is why we should be sad. But again, I think this is something to celebrate, comrades. This kind of persecution shows how much the regime is scared by people power. A regime that has been in power for 33, going to 34 years, is scared of a movement, a social movement, that is barely two years old. That continues to inform us that indeed people power is stronger than people in power. Yeah. Therefore, comrades, despite all the challenges we have had to encounter ever since we started, ever since we started, there have been countless things to celebrate. Key of which is a politically conscious population ready to keep Museveni and his cronies out of power in 2021, and I am very serious about this. Yeah. Um, over the past uh, few months, we received countless people, men and women of all ages, showing off their national IDs as a weapon with which they use. As a weapon that they. Hello, Mike Check. You see what he did to the microphone? <laughs> Thank you. I was telling you that many 
men and women all over the country are being showing off have been showing off their national IDs as a weapon to keep to keep the dictator out of power in 2021. We have made it fashionable to have a national ID. We've made it fashionable to be politically conscious. We've made it personal, we've made it fashionable for people to love their country and to be proud of it. And above all, building on the efforts of those that we found in the struggle, we've exposed President Museveni to the core. I repeat, we have exposed President Museveni to the core. His true colors as an intolerant, poor, power hungry, and dangerous dictator have never been made so clear to Ugandans and to the world. Now it is up for everybody to see. So therefore, friends, I believe that we have achievements to celebrate. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I must at this point, I must at this point, comrades, acknowledge that we could never have achieved this alone. I must salute the brothers and sisters that came before us and started this course. We owe it to a lot of people. We owe it to our elder, Dr. Paulo Kawanga Semao Gerere, who recognized the monster in its infancy. It must have been, have been tough in a time when not so many people were awakened. Everybody else was singing praises from seven, but people like Semao Gerere stood up. Comrades, we owe it to Dr. Kiza Besige, who sacrificed so much and showed us resilience and indeed showed us emboldness, the bravery and the confidence to stand up to a dictator, a dangerous dictator. We always will give him respect. I must, of course, salute senior comrades like the General Mujisha Montu, Mama Miriam Matembe, the Honorable Nobat Mao, the Honorable Yona Kanyomozi, the Honorable Amanya Mosheka, and very many other noble Ugandans that kept the fire burning until we arrived. <laughs> Comrades, ordinarily activists such as Sam Mugumia, who is still imprisoned in the Congo, deserve to be mentioned and acknowledged. Dr. Stella Nyanzi, a highly accomplished academic has spent months in jail because she dared to speak up and because of the poem. Now Longo Nana, my good friend, lost her uterus recently because of police brutality. There has been gross violations of human rights and those cannot go and mention comrades. I have labored to remind us of where we came from where we are and where we're going. But I also believe that the comrades before us, many of them actually are more articulate than me in this. So I'm not here to lecture you about where we're coming from, where we are and where we're going, because this you know very clearly. So as we gather here today, my friends, my brothers and sisters, people power has never been as strong as it is this moment. We have moved from when this was just a mere dream to a powerful movement recognized all over the world. I must assert it that people power is not a political party. It's a movement that unites all change-seeking forces. We don't care about your tribe. We don't care about your religion. And indeed, we don't care about your political affiliation. We believe, and we have been saying, and indeed all other comrades in this struggle have been asserting it, that today Uganda is divided into two parts, the oppressors and the oppressed. Now we come together as the oppressed people of Uganda to demand that power goes back to the people. I must salute all the brothers and sisters all over the country that took upon a job without even knowing the leaders. Many people have been professing people power. People I don't know, people who don't know me, but because they hear the message and the message resonates with them. I want to salute them. 
I want to assert that the coordinators that we announced today are not even 1% of the leaders of people power all over the country. Whenever I'm listening to radio in Kampala or elsewhere in the country, no single talk show ends without hearing somebody calling from wherever saying this is a people power spokesperson, this is a people power chairman, this is a people power coordinator, and we respect your comrades. <laughs> this is the first step to the effort to connect with you wherever you are. We know your importance and we know that you are just as responsible as we are and yes, as entitled as we are. Finally, comrades, I must talk about the efforts at Unity. We started an effort to reach out to the different leaders of the different formations, and that reach out is still communicating. We are doing that because we believe we cannot do it alone. We believe that Unity is strength, and we believe that a people united can never be defeated. So while we continue to reach out we request all of you to do the same, to always remember that this is not about any one individual among us. It is about all of us. And like we have been saying, no single political party, no single individual, and no single formation will liberate this country, but all of us together in harmony and in principle, we will liberate this country that we all call home. So comrades, while we unite, we must remember that our people are already united. Our people are united by their pain. Our people are united by their separation. Our people are united by the challenges they go through every day. It's rare, ladies and gentlemen, that the people that are being led are ahead of the people that are leading them. This is an effort for us to catch up with the people of Uganda who have already resolved. They have shown that to us wherever we go. They are calling upon us as leaders to unite. I've said it before, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm saying it again, that I am personally willing and ready to lead you in this struggle. But again, I'm always quick to assert that it is useless for me to think I will give any contribution without you, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to reiterate my call to all of us to always remember that this country is bigger than all of us. It is bigger than any of us. Uganda was there before the coming of colonialism. Uganda was there after colonialism. Uganda was there before dictatorship. And yes, Uganda will be there after dictatorship. Like we always sing, we are the country, we are the future, we are the change we badly need. And if we come together in mind and spirit, we can put an end to this dictatorship. And it is my hope and prayer that this gathering does not go in vain. It is my hope the future may it be written in history that it was a calm day like this when leaders decided to put aside their egos, their personal interests, and they put the interests of their children, their grandchildren, and their great-great-grandchildren before them. I thank you, comrades, for listening to me. I thank you, brothers and sisters from the media. And I thank Mama Uganda for seeing the truth and following the truth. Um, I thought somebody was delivering me a cheat. But now that that's not the case, I want to end by saluting all of you and reasserting my commitment that as a person, I can first speak for myself that I will never, ever, ever betray the trust of Uganda. And this is the promise that we must give to ourselves and give to the people that believe in us. And that way, you will agree with me that as people speaking the Luganda language like to say and sing that 
servant leadership, who am I to say no when there's a request that is made. I've been requested to briefly um, communicate in Uganda to you ladies and gentlemen. Nasawa Komeda Sumani Ada Kuivu Nurida Abasoka Kinecho so, we are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be to Oba amani okudizibo obo biinza okudizibo abantu maani disanyo injiri eno era ne mujitu alange yamwe ne wankubadde nga muita mombera emisole minji ebi enfuna ebitali bya bwenkanya eyenguzi no ne ebitu enfana nako ngebyo mulemeddeko ne mutwala omulama guno maso yakala no kutwala omukisa guno okwebaza bakulembeze banange abasalawo Jida Uganda nene oksinga ibigeni nwa biyafinga abantu Uganda nene oksinga ebango ya feri watu ili tupatu wani singa abantu Anjokete wei nchi okubanga Kupansa vio kwa kira mwono Uganda Nchitua la nchi wali wana habana baketo Ilamba njakala nyo nene nyamina Nila sogora kukundi wa besi So ngabo mmanyi baganda bange Tetuwa jamu nsonge eno kuwa fetuwa singo kusoma. Zengo mtu, saji ya mbukule mbeze kuwa njirati kuli nyingi, kuwa ni profesa, oba kuwa manyinye vya maje. Tetuwa ye soola yo, nga bantu, haba manyinye vya ufuzi, oba haba in experience ya manyi. Netuwe soola yo, nga banda Uganda, haba ino kwa gara ADNC ya abwe. Haba ina no kukiliza kuso wa piche sa, nga tukenda piche sa. Um, Tumanyi mburu unji nyo Jituze Nga tupu kiriwa Baganda bafeba unji nyo Nadala baba ulive njiri Jituwa babulira Yame nunura Yane baganda maso nebe wandisa Banji waze batulage ndaka montu zawe Ngira batulaga Tipe choku wanyi satawe Choku wabaganya na chema lila Bachina Netika ando nga papa kule mbeze Ketu hula yo kukua takana Na hii la chizama wa mani Masebo ni manyabo kubietuze tulaba Kukubira dala, ijinja, iluku njiri Ibujiri, ni mwaluwa Njita la bana yuka na basa lao Elakati Mwendo kire nyangu Baina lo Echono teche unisa Kulaba nti jeno musebe ni Yatia nyo Yena avantube Ela, ebya liwo Yasa lao kututamu Na bokambu wichitalo Nete mu ili chitalo, ili chochinyo nyora lwa chiba nafe omuli ya sini kawuma ba tugumburwa. Echono, chonge nanu tukula maso, pasebo ni banyamu. Nchidala, umusaji yonu, tunu sobola. Uruma nyuma, uro kumufu fukaza, wakatimu kutisa chisa abantu ni mundu, uro kumagulila ni sente, ya laba, nga, tichicha sobo kecho kena na ye. Mokatu, Mokantu Ila jenu nusebe ni Ya sara wo, mwumeni kwa mateka Na imiza, okulonda Kona kona, okwari kugenda Ugena maso Ngamotu alide, nukwe kasanda Manjina fe, mwariye simbi 
Echo china kutula kachi wanangi Kina kutula kemi tuibiri Chino tuna kuwaza Atendo za china notu sanyusa Chino tuna kuwaza Jekwanga ya piliono ni kete dara dara Tericha ina ya denobu untu ulamu Kwanga wemba mbuli demo lufute fute Ibanangi tiyali nteka teka ya pe kubela wano Emagere Nteka teka ya pe Yali ya kubela mumu kuziwote li Mchibuka kampala Ngaba nafe abalala doabela Na hindi ya kalupa tekeza anti Buli wote li ketua pangi siza Nezi munga tuwa sasude send Uluwate kete java people power Weba joko gira ko eliba na mauli le Neba gamba Mkweta morango Bawate keze za Jiba kubidua ama simu Nibala giruwa Obuta tukiri za ya dobuli nye chikere Mwote li za abwe Atena bo wakati mkutia Bambi Neba tubulia chetimu Kale nechuchuku nyonyola Luwaji tumaliriza Natuli wano ni magere Masebo ni manyabo Binji nejo gede muruzungu Era ea time Unawa dense chinze nga koma kuruzungu Na imu nzikiri ze Mbifoze fonze Muruganda mpola mpola Wakati woku manya Chitominobu wa kizibonji Pachi laba Chitetubula chiko langa Titukuwa ataganye Tuchimanyi hulu unji Nchi abantu wa peyo na joo ita Okube kukwanjula pake kukwanjula Okube kukwanjula pake kukwanjula Okuma mamboka paka makirira Bona aboke li chikambo chimu Bako u elaba agana choka choka Sicha abu nijo baganda bangi Nchi abantu Aba kulembelua Paso kayo Aba kulembese Nepe natu kilizganye Java antu wana yuga na vitu kule mbira Batu soka yoda Bobi igata da Boba asala woda Baba kule mbeze pepe mbira yoke gata No kusala wo Nerachi mpesa nyolinji Tutusi nkanyere ilo Mubibina ili nja ulo Mumawanga ili nja ulo Mubikula ili nja ulo Nenga fena tukiriza Tutuina okufuba Okulaba na tuko miyobana chema Nila elobu inza Kudeo ili ava antu Nganapa wa kule mbeze Kukule mili mchapenga tujukola Kulo kweleza ava antu So si okweleza Elanja kalu patekeza Masebo ni banyabo Nji ono kawe fube Tata andise lero Elata kwa mire lero Tuge na maso Noko ogena kanya Noko atakana nebaganda bafe Njagala okuwa Echitiwa Bakade bafe abatso kawo Bakade bafe Ngoe chisiwa Paulo Kawanga Semo gerele Abayi muka mchisela Abantu bali tebana bukanga Tebana kula maso Nga chisibu nyo kumaka ambili chamu Musebe nibi akona nibabidaba Nene bayi milida Tuwaka lukwe chitiwa Bakade bafe Nga doktor kiza besite Abayi milida mchisela Ngesite na buka chimala Nga buhusu wale ilo Tuwaka lukwe chitiwa Bakade bafe Nga jeno muntu Nga honor bono batimao Na wakule mbeza abalala Awata deo mugongo Mchisera Wichitari sef Baganda wafe Ngazize kuchoko ugela ganya Nibana fe Venabu Tuina inzikiriza yemu Tukiriza Chituno kwe gata Kwa wangu wabe gase Kwa soko la kumala Kwa wangu lwa batio Mono kwa wefuwe Ata andi kisele ilo Tata andi kisele ilo Tumutongo zale ilo Na ya genda gena maso Nena tuke na mge na maso kato gira ganya neba nafe Chino nino choke lako masebo neba nyabo Na choke lako elange na kudamu Choke le Tinze ni mwete futefu Okuma kulembe la muka wefu mwono Chidamu Tinze ni mwete kefu Okuma kulembe la muka wefu mwono Uwoku Mwaku la musebe ni Mwaku pita mwetele ya jati
kuhimiza kitu sobolo kuchikola era tunenda chikola kubanga ama kimakali kurunda wafe ne katonda ali kurunda wafe ali kurunda wafe anya sobolo kutuzo kanya so i want to say this in english and because all of you journalists are here yeah. yes. i want this message to go not to anybody else but to president moseven direct yeah. that on behalf of the people of uganda yeah. i am challenging you to a free and fair election yeah. <laughs> Nina okogera kejira na basirogi. Kuna coordinators, village coordinators, as all that is accountable to the leadership council. And yes, a rural manager is coming to see, but before he does that, it, ah, ah, please, please, let's be ordered. Who is the flag of uh, Kalule Navagami, the next, uh, the incoming member of parliament for Kassana? She was meant to be here with me, she fled. I just want to appreciate this lady again, clap, then I'll tell you why. Uh, she has uh, spearheaded the team that has put together all of this. And want to say thank you. Those of you think we may not have work, uh, Flavia showed you that she has work. Please say goodbye to these your people. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for honoring my invitation. 
Thank you for making this a reality. This started uh, as something that was really well. This was well thought of, well planned, but we had some fears. I am so happy that you all made it possible and you have come here in large numbers. Thank you and have a good day. of the coordinators uh, in an hour at the most. Uh, we are going to send a soft copy of all the coordinators. Captain uh, <laughs> Ronald Maija. Ronald Maija. You already have the band. Eh? Uh, this is a good band.
Is it on the one? Is it on the two one? Is it on the 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 one? Tell us what is your task at hand now? My task is, is to ensure we put men, women, boots on the ground in the shortest time humanly possible across the country to ensure. <laughs>